now let us see how to add a button so for this let me make some changes here let me remove this second label and let us use let us use the pack method for simplicity pack and now execute it so until now we have defined just a label now under it we will be creating our button so for creating a button we should have to first create a object my button let us say one is equal to there is a class called b u t t o n first one should be capital letter for a class and inside the parameters you can pass all the parameters as label you can create a text is equal to let us say enter and now we can say it a pack or grid the same as a label we can also call it with the grid one now let us run it okay see here our button is successfully created we have created see it is not functional for making it functional we should have to write further so first let us change the color and see so to do change the color also the same parameters we can pass so what all the parameters we have used for the label we can use for the button also the only thing is we are calling the button class we are creating the object and this one is a method pack is a method grid is the method we can call it using the object or you can call it using the class itself here itself so now let us change the let us say fg is equal to let us say blue or anything and give the background is equal to let us say green press f5 enter so we have created the button which looks green and blue it doesn't look good so we can also change the color here let us say this one as black this one look, looks good so like this we can create any number of because we are using pack here everything comes at the center let us create one more button let us copy it and let us paste it here now we will be telling it red let us say delete and the pack same thing so here we have created two buttons enter delete and the label so now we can also press it enter delete so hope you understood play a little bit around is in the next video we will be seeing how to make this functional so when we press this enter some action should be performed when we press this delete some action should be performed those things we will be seeing in the next video until then you practice with the buttons add the buttons using the other methods which have we have used for the label like grid method and place the buttons wherever you want and uh, and meet you in the next video until then keep practicing